Hey, what's up guys? Min City here back again with another video, and today I am bringing you my review of Pixelot, which is an RPG available on the App Store. The link to the game is in the description down below for iOS, as well as Android if it's available for Android. Now before I get into it, please leave a like and pop a sub if this helps you out in any way, or if you enjoy mobile gaming content, because that's all I do. It really helps small channels like mine, but without further ado, let's get right into the review. Art Style and Sound Design Pixelot's graphics are as its name suggests, pixel art. Its style of pixel art really gives off the vibe of Pokemon games that were available on the Game Boy Color and Advance, which definitely isn't a bad thing. It makes the game feel nostalgic to a degree. Everything in the game is minimally animated, which is part of the charm. The game's menus are clean, organized, and intuitive. As for the game's music, it does have quite a bit of variety, depending on where you're at in the game and what you're doing. Battle music, especially during boss fights, can get you hyped for what is ahead. Different towns and areas have unique tunes that are actually quite catchy. Sound effects are very simple but satisfying. At the end of the day, Pixelot is clearly inspired by Pokemon when it comes to its art style and sound design, and I honestly think it nails the feel of it in its own fantasy-styled way. Gameplay Pixelot is a turn-based RPG where you control a party of up to four characters. These characters can consist of a variety of classes, all with their own unique attacks, abilities, equipable gear, and personalities. Pixelot's story is about as generic as they come, where you must collect a certain number of elemental crystals and yada yada yada. However, there are a few characters that have charming personalities and they keep you at least slightly interested in what is being said throughout the game. Honestly, the simplest way to explain the gameplay of Pixelot is this. Anything you've experienced in the GBA versions of Pokemon is here, but with some more RPG elements of collecting party members, collecting gear of varying rarities, leveling up gear through crafting, finding synergies, all while fighting several enemies with multiple party members in a simple JRPG-esque battle system. You'll be spending a majority of your time exploring the world, taking quests, battling a wide variety of enemies and bosses, and solving puzzles. The world's map is extremely similar to the way Pokemon designed its maps during the GBA era. Battles are handled in a similar way to Pokemon as well, where if you cross an enemy's path, they will stop you, say something cheesy, and then proceed to battle you. Bushes aren't a safe place for you to run through either, along with other environmental set pieces that will randomly generate a battle for you to fight whenever you take a step. There is even a group of enemies within the first 30 minutes of the game that heavily reminded me of Team Rocket. I don't want these explanations to come off as bad aspects to the game. There is obviously a lot of time and care put into creating all of these systems, mechanics, characters, and environments. They aren't straight up rip-offs of the Pokemon formula. They may be heavily inspired by the franchise, but there is just enough subtle differences to make it feel like an experience all of its own. My only gripe with its gameplay is that it's a bit on the easier side. I never felt like I had to truly strategize to get through a majority of the battles I encountered. Occasionally, a boss fight would make me have to slow down and think through a choice or two, but that's about it. Of course, depth and difficulty expanded the farther I got in the game, but overall I feel like it was a bit too much on the easy side. Controls Pixelot's controls consist of a virtual d-pad to move and tapping the screen to interact. I love this simplistic control scheme. It's an incredibly fluid and intuitive experience to maneuver the game's various menus. Unfortunately, the d-pad can be a bit finicky at times, and you have to be pretty accurate with how you touch it. It gets the job done, but it does feel a bit stiff and clunky overall. Monetization Pixelot is a completely premium experience for $2.99. It has also continued to receive free updates that have added quite a bit of content to the game, including new regions, legendary weapons, bosses, heroes, and classes. Conclusion Pixelot wears its inspiration of Pokemon with pride while also adding in a few subtle twists of its own to keep it from feeling like a complete clone. It's an extremely charming and surprisingly nostalgic game all the way to the very end. However, the journey to get there is a bit too easy. If you're looking for a solid and simple RPG to scratch that Pokemon itch that's been plaguing you, look no further than Pixelot. If you're an experienced RPG player and prefer your RPGs to have some complexity and difficulty to them, perhaps give this game a pass. Alright guys, that was my review for Pixelot. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And again, don't forget to leave a like and pop a sub if you guys are new or you enjoy mobile gaming content or if this review helped you out in any way. It means so much to small channels like mine. Let me know your guys' feedback in the comment section down below and what you think about this game. 
If you guys have any games that you want me to check out, definitely leave it in the comment section down below. You'd be surprised how many of those suggestions I do make videos about. And I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. I hope you're staying safe and take it easy.